I'm going to start the picture by leaving the pencils and the chalks in view. They won't be able to stay there very long, but uh, you'll see how I'm going to select the first few pencils. Now, in the sky, I want to put some inevitable white. I imagine that these work in the same way as the other pencils. In fact, this first application suggests that that's true. And um, I don't know how much different they'll be from the others, but they certainly seem a little softer. Anyway, let's just see how this goes. I'm just put a bit of um, white in here. Now, the picture, although I'm, I'm, I have got some idea of what I'm doing, um, a lot of it's going to be largely made up, as all sunsets of mine are. Now, let's just put a bit of light in there. Now, where I want a concentrated light, I'm going to put just a little bit more concentration. And where I want a general light, like here, for instance, it's going to have uh, another colour on in a minute. I'm going to do a little bit because um, I need to... Uh, do I want any more there? Now, there's another cloud bank uh, that I'm going to bring in here. Now, straight away, I, I find that these are softer. You've probably seen me use the general white charcoal. Well, that's a very strong white. Well, I wouldn't say it's quite the same as this, but it's very similar. And there we are. Now, that's, that's, a, that's a concentrated brown. And down to there, we'll have some blue in here. Now, um, I have got chalks as well, so let me, just, let me just use the pencil to start with. Now, this is, I want some blue in here. And as you know, when I start off, it's always a bit tentative. Well, that's a blue in there. And do I want a bit stronger? Not a lot, but I, I do want a little bit of white in there as well. So it's not as, as, a, as intense as this. But, um, yeah, that's all right. Good, good. Okay, fine. Now let me bring this other colour, which I've been itching to use. And this is a uh, what's it called? Um, I'm not quite sure what it's called. It doesn't actually have a colour on it. Anyway, it's 042, if you're taking note. Now, this is a colour that can come in here. Uh, it's a pinky tone. It's what I'm trying to achieve. Now, what about up here, you think? Hmm. Well up here it's a little darker now I want that to be a little lighter and because I'm restricting myself to only these pencils these 12 um, I've got to make it a little lighter by putting white back in again see like that now, I'm not going to bore you too much but I just want to see show you how I start off and then what I'll do is I'll work my way through you'll see the pencils as I use them. Now that looks good. And the only thing about it, we do know that when you get uh, a dark colour like this, you're going to have a certain amount of um, pastel paper showing through. So the way out of that is to do it again and put a, another coat on. And you see how much more intense that is than that. So let's do a bit more. Now you must wonder how we sharpen these. Well, they recommend you sharpen them with the blade, not a pencil sharpener. Now that's that's very pretty actually. And then now the second time, you see how that is now covered up. So that's the answer, as it is with the other pastel pencils. Now in here, I want that to be a darker blue. At the moment, I'm still using pencils, but I could well use the. Um, sticks. I want this to be a little darker in here. Now, a little bit more fussy now because we generally work from light to dark as you know. So I've got to bring in the blue into the cloud. I must say these are nice bright tones. Uh, just interfere with that just a little bit because we can I don't want the white to be here to be the same as this one but down here I want the white to 
be stronger. Now the same thing will apply here. If, if I put that blue in, I've got to put another colour in too, as well. So let's come back in with my greyish blue that I was using. Again, do another blend there and then I'll blend it and then we'll put more blue in. See how that reacts. Let's blend it. I've chosen to use the ivory colour shaper but you could quite easily use the great one. And there we are, that's gone in there like that. Okay, and now let's put the blue back in because it is a lot stronger than that. I'll do half of it and we can see that how much different that that is. And I'm not pressing very hard, but if I do press hard, you get a lot more strength. I've lost some of the white, but I can bring that back again. Right. Oh, wrong one. I picked up the grey one, which I could, as I say, I could use that. So there's a nice strong blue. That's two coats there. Okay, now, um, what I think what I'll do here is I'll start interfering with the edge of that. Bear in mind I'm testing waters here by bringing some of the, the blue into that because it's not all this colour. In fact, let's start interfering with it a little bit now. Because remember it's a sky, so we're looking at clouds here. Now that works well. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, and now let's bring the white back again and see how well it goes over. Well, you, you can't really work white or light colours over the top of dark. You'll always see, have a see-through effect. But that's okay because I don't want that to be that strong. Yeah, that to do. Yeah, that's all I want. That's all I want there. If I wanted it stronger, let's see what happens if I put a little more pressure on. Well, it's a little different, but we've got these over here, look folks. So let's see what happens if I use these. Now these, theoretically, these should be a little bit more intense. They are. So there we are. That's great. Okay, so what I'll do now is I'll work my way through. I'm just using these colours for the moment just to develop this. Here it's very dark. So what I should do here is use the grey or greyish blue. And I might as well show you that too. Because we want here to have A little bit of, and a little bit of this colour as well. Just, just. To, I'm going to put a, um, a very dark colour on here in a minute. Now, normally I would reach for grey. I can't do that because I haven't got any other than this one. I haven't got a grey, so I'll have to go right up to that edge. Yeah. Come back with my colour shaper, and what I want to do here. Maybe a filter a little bit of this blue in here as well. It's not as intense as this because we've got we're looking through cloud. And over here I'll make it just a little more. And once again. Blue. 
then that. And I want a mixture here, a little bit of cloud, a little bit of cloud, a little bit of this. That I've got, um, where's my, I've got a shot, here we are. This is a, a pointed colour shape, which will give me a, just a slightly different, Emphasis, you see, with a with a pointed one, you can be a little bit more precise. Yeah, that's all right. That's what I'm looking for. Now, right on that edge, I want it to be a bit more fluffy than that. Like I said, just bear in mind that this is cloud. Just a little bit more blue that's breaking through. Now, the, the other colour I've got is black. Now, black is a very, very strong tone, but I'm hoping that what we can do here is put a bit of black in. Now, normally I'd reach to one of my Faber pencils, 181 for this, but <clears throat> I'm restricting it to the 12 pencils I've got here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, when you use black, and let's save me other pointed one here, you've really got to use grey colour shaper for it. Yeah, you see that? Now what I'm going to be doing now is developing this sky all the way through there. <clears throat> 